what are some of the things that you can do with people to help them as, in addition to what you mentioned? I think the biggest thing is forcing people to actually st sit down and engage with the problems that are giving them the most trouble. So a lot of times people will want to look at the explanations or they'll want to have me explain it to them and they'll say, oh, I get it now and then move on. But I actually have a, a dialogue with the students where I really kind of force them to think through their thought process. What was tempting about a wrong answer choice that made them pick it and what ulti ultimately makes it wrong? And what was discouraging about a right answer choice that pushed them away from it and what ultimately makes it correct? You want to do that again and again and again. And of course, I work with students one on one, but I also teach live online LSAT classes where students can join from anywhere in the world. I also teach live weekend LSAT classes here in New York City. And probably, you know, foreigners may need extra help with the test. Oh, yeah, especially those who are not native English speakers. They're definitely up against initial uh, additional obstacles that basically they, they just require more time. And of course, I have strategies for reading comprehension for them in particular, but it is certainly a harder road for them. And so they might want to devote more time. And you 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 customize your program, your approach, depending on the need of that student. Exactly. Yeah, I mentioned I have these study schedules on my website. Those are general, which anyone can really adapt. But for my students personally, of course, I create a customized schedule and I don't even lay it out all at once. I'll adjust it week by week based on how the student is progressing.